Hi there, everyone. Father Rob Ramser here at St. Angela's to talk with you for a few moments about something very important coming up this spring, your confirmation. You know, the other day I was thinking about my own confirmation. I was confirmed in the ninth grade when I was in high school. And I can remember that everyone was excited for me, praying for me, my parents, grandparents, other family members, my sponsor. And I'll never forget when I was confirmed by Bishop Roger at my parish at the time, St. Leo's. I knew something important was happening. Could I put all the pieces together? Did I know the greatness of the moment? No, but there's time for that. But something important happened. The Holy Spirit was given to me in a very unique and special way. And the same goes for you. We will be getting you ready to receive the Holy Spirit in a beautiful, unique way in the Sacrament of Confirmation. Now, what does it mean to be confirmed? We're confirmed in things all the time. We're confirmed in our knowledge. When you do well on a test, that means you know what's going on. If you play a sport, when you practice, you're confirmed in what you know. When you play well, that means you practice well. It's a strengthening. It's a making us more steady and able to do what we need to do. So for our faith, when we're confirmed, it makes us able to be those witnesses, those disciples, those friends of Christ that we are, to go out to tell others about Jesus. To go out and live good lives of helping others. Live lives of love and of peace and of help. Now, confirmation does complete your sacraments of initiation. And we know those sacraments are gifts given to us by Jesus Christ, signs that point to something more. They're not just what they are, but they reveal to us something of the life of God. Baptism. It's not just pouring water on a baby. It's that child being washed clean welcomed into the family of God. It begins the process, the journey of being a saint. What strengthens us on that journey? Holy Communion. The very body and blood of Jesus, not just bread and wine, but Jesus' very self to be strength for the journey. And confirmation is the sealing of the Holy Spirit. Literally, we are sealed, marked. The bishop will mark your forehead with holy oil to confirm you as mature in faith. You're not in second grade anymore or third grade. You know a thing or two. And you can walk forward helping others know a thing or two as well. You can walk forward helping others in the name of Jesus. Now, what does he say about all this? What does Jesus tell us about this Holy Spirit we're going to receive? Well, the Holy Spirit isn't just a thing. It's a person. The bond of love between God the Father and God the Son. Remember, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we believe in one God, three persons. And Jesus promised to send us this Holy Spirit, this wisdom, this counselor, this gift from heaven. I'm looking at the Acts of the Apostles right now. Because in the Acts of the Apostles, we have that first Pentecost when the Holy Spirit was sent upon the church gathered in prayer. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came from heaven like a rush of a mighty wind, and it filled the whole house, and there appeared to each of them tongues of the fire resting upon their foreheads. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in tongues as the Spirit allowed them to do. The Holy Spirit allows us to do things we can never dream of. The Holy Spirit gives us the gifts of wisdom and understanding, of right judgment, of counsel. And we'll talk about all those. But the Spirit sets us on fire. And at that first Pentecost, the whole church was confirmed to be the followers of Christ to go out and tell the good news. And even before Pentecost, Jesus himself on that evening of the first Easter, came to the apostles who were locked away, who were afraid, 
and nervous and questioning and what does this all mean? He came and he says to them, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he said, I breathe on you. And he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. From John's Gospel, we hear Jesus breathe, literally breathe new life into his apostles to be strong, to be those first leaders in the church. And then at Pentecost, comes to give the whole church the gift of the Holy Spirit. Beautifully, this gift of the Holy Spirit reminds us whose we are, we're God's, and gives us strength to follow the path God calls us to, to follow our vocation. And we're going to talk about a little vocational journey on our time together this year. We're going to talk about what it means to be called by God. Each one of us is. We have the common vocation of holiness. And we know holiness means to be a saint, a friend of God. And there are so many saints out there. That's why we ask you to take a confirmation name, to choose a special companion for the rest of your life. Mine is Blaise, St. Blaise. I look to him in a very unique way as my confirmation saint. Who's yours going to be? There's tons of them. Saints of all ages, all backgrounds. And what allowed them to be saints? To stand up what is right? Like Thomas More in England stood up to the king. We have great men and women standing up to power, standing up to their own families and helping them realize God's in control. What allowed them to do that? The same confirmation you will receive. The same confirmation I received. It allows them to be that saint on the path God called them to. So we're going to talk about vocations this year. And vocations is different than a job. A job is what you do. But a vocation is who you are. How you live out that holiness. My vocation is the priesthood, holy orders. I don't take the collar off at the end of the day and go, okay, I'm going back to be just Rob. No. I'll be Father Rob forever. Because that's my call from God. Is it always easy? No. But is it worth it? You bet. But we'll talk about what vocation God is calling you to. And how God is calling you to live out your sainthood now. Yes, you in 8th grade. You're made in the image and likeness of God. Brought into the church through the sacrament of initiation. And now a confirmation are strengthened to be mature in faith. To continue learning more. This is a journey, my friends. Confirmation doesn't end something. It begins something new. So know of our prayers for you, how proud we are of you, how excited we are for you. And we'll walk together on this journey. Please pray for us as we help your teachers, your catechists, your priests, other parishioners. We're rooting for you. And don't forget to pray for one another as we look forward to confirmation and all the great things God will do in and through us to make this world more like the kingdom of heaven. God bless you, and St. Angela Marici, pray for us.